In this course, we will be showing you the process of dye sublimation printing. Dye subprinting is a digital print technique that uses heat to transfer dye onto polyester and polymer coated materials, such as fabric, plastics and metal. Full colour permanent images can be printed on a wide range of items from t-shirts and mugs to plaques and cushions. Today, we will be printing onto a cushion to create a personalised gift. First, you will need to create your bespoke artwork. You can use any design software you're comfortable with, from Adobe Illustrator to Canva, ensuring your finished artwork is saved in PDF format. The next step is to measure your die sub blank. This is an important part of die sublimation printing. Measure up the area you wish to print on and create a document of this size in your editing software. For example, here we're using a 40 by 40 centimeter cushion cover, so we need to create a 40 by 40 centimeter document and resize the artwork to fit the available space. Then save the sized up artwork as a PDF. Each die sublimation blank will differ in size, from cushion covers to flags, mugs to t-shirts. Measuring your printing area will ensure your artwork is always the correct size. Now your artwork is designed and the correct size for your blank product, we need to prepare the page to print. Using Adobe Illustrator, create a new document, creating a custom size. The width of the page must be 610 millimetres as this is the width of the paper roll in the Epson SC F500. The height of the page is dependent on the item and quantity being printed. For example, today we will just be printing one 40 by 40 centimetre cushion. Welcome to part two of your Print Institute's Introduction to Dye Sublimation. Now turn on your heat press. Today we're using the PIXMAX 50x50 heat press, available from your print specialists. Heat press settings differ depending on the blank product you're pressing. Always double check the recommended settings from the company you purchase your blanks from. Heat pressing can be a trial and error process to find your ideal settings as this depends on your press. Each heat press will have a different recommended protection. We use a Teflon sheet underneath our blank and a protection paper above. This protects your final product from ink transfer from previously pressed artwork. The next step in dye sublimation is to move to your printer. Today we are using the Epson SureColor SC F500. Turn on your Epson before printing. It's important to check the ink levels and paper. Topping up the Ultra Chrome inks is simple. The bottle is designed to fit over the nozzle and fill up the ink tank. After this, your Epson will ask you where your ink levels are. Simply follow the directions on your screen. Replacing media in the Epson SCF500 is also simple. Place your roll of media on the spindle and secure the transparent top. Pop the spindle into your Epson, feeding the paper in until you hear a beep. This means your paper's ready. Close the cover and follow the directions on the home screen. Now your Epson SCF500 is ready to go. Welcome to part three of your Print Institute's Introduction to Dye Sublimation. In the last clip, we showed you how to set up your Epson SCF500. Next is printing your file. Earlier, you made the file a width of 610 millimeters and your choice of height. In Illustrator, go to File, Print, Setup. Select your Epson SCF500, Document Size, User Defined, OK. Custom Paper Size, OK. OK. Print. A key part to dye sublimation is image placement. Once your artwork is printed, you can now trim down the paper. Trimming down the image will make your next step easier. An important part of the dye sublimation process is taping your printed artwork to the blank product. Use heat-resistant tape to secure your artwork in place. 
Taping down your image will reduce ink bleeding and transfer, ensuring your design is clear on your final product. When placing your blank in the heat press, which is set to the settings you selected earlier, wear heat resistant gloves and place your item down carefully, placing the protection paper on top to protect your blank. When removing your product from the press, be sure to use the heat resistant gloves again as your blank will be hot. Place your finished product down and carefully remove the paper and tape. We hope this course was helpful and you can now confidently create your own personalised giftware with dye sublimation. Your Print Institute's sister company, Your Print Specialists, provides the Epson SCF500 as part of their business in a box, including the heat press we use today, the Pixmax 50x50. If you found this course helpful, please check out our other online courses.